Franklin is Lost by Paulette Bourgeois and Brenda Clark. Franklin could slide down a riverbank. He could count forwards and backwards. He could zip zippers and button buttons. He could even walk to Bear's house all by himself. But Franklin was not allowed to go into the woods alone. One day, Franklin said, I'm going to play at Bear's house. All right, said Franklin's mother, but be home for dinner at six o'clock. And she showed him the time with the hands on the clock. And Franklin, she warned, don't go into the woods alone. Franklin raced down the path, over the bridge, and across the berry patch. Bear was there. Fox was there. Goose and Otter were there. I'm here, huffed Franklin. What are you playing? Hide and seek, shouted his friends. And you're it. Franklin started counting. Hide and seek was his favorite game. He wasn't very fast, but he was very clever. He knew Bear always hid in the berry patch. Franklin looked around. He saw a shaggy paw swipe at a branch of berries. I see you, Bear, he called. Franklin spotted feathers and fur under the bridge. I see you, Goose. I see you, Otter, he called. Only Fox was left to find. Franklin walked this way and that. He looked into bushes and searched under logs. He walked along the path and over the bridge and without even thinking, he walked right into the woods. He looked into burrows and all around trees. Franklin searched everywhere, but he couldn't find Fox. Fox wasn't in the woods at all. He was hiding inside Bear's house. After a while, he shouted, can't catch me, but Franklin couldn't hear him. He was too far away. Where's Franklin? asked Fox. Nobody knew. They waited a long time. Bear's tummy grumbled. Finally, Goose said, it's almost six o'clock. Franklin must have hurried home for supper. Of course, they said, and off they went. At Franklin's house, the clock struck six. Franklin's parents were annoyed. Their supper was ready. By half past six, they were worried and went looking for Franklin. Franklin's father searched along the path. Franklin, he called, where are you? Franklin's mother talked to his friends. Where's Franklin, she asked Bear. Where's Franklin, she asked Otter and Goose. Where's Franklin, she asked Fox. Nobody knew. Now they were worried too. It was getting dark. Franklin turned one way and then another. Every tree looked the same. Every rock looked the same. He couldn't find the path. I'm lost, said Franklin in a tiny voice. He couldn't remember which way I'd come. He didn't know which way to go. He was tired and frightened and all alone. Franklin curled up in his small dark shell and waited. Somebody would come sometime, wouldn't they? Dark shadows flitted across the rocks. Who's there? whispered Franklin, but no one answered because it was the clouds blowing across the face of the moon. Who, who, who's there? whispered Franklin, but no one answered because it was Owl, far, far away. Who's there? whispered Franklin but no one answered because it was the wind whistling through the trees. Franklin tried to sleep, but every sound made him jump. He was humming to himself a little tune when he heard crick crack, crick crack, crick crack, squish. Who's there, whispered Franklin, but no one answered. Then Franklin heard a new sound. It sounded like someone calling his name. He heard it again. Here I am, here I am, Franklin shouted over and over. Crick, crack, crick, crack, crick, crack, squish. Franklin's parents came over the knoll. There you are. They hugged him and kissed him and held him tight. We were so worried, said Franklin's father. You were told not to go into the woods alone, scolded his mother. It wasn't on purpose, sniffed Franklin. I was looking for Fox and I forgot. Well, thank goodness you're safe, they said. They found the path and walked all the way home. Their supper was still warm in the oven. 
After two helpings of everything, Franklin had something important to say. I'm sorry. I promise I'll never go into the woods alone again. Even if fox hides there? asked his mother. Even if bear hides there? asked his father. Even if everybody hides there, said Franklin. It was half past bedtime. Franklin crawled into his warm, safe shell. Good night, dear, said his parents, but no one answered because Franklin had fallen fast asleep.